All right, today we're going to talk about how to use Wordle. Wordle is a tool to create word clouds out of things you've written or just various words. For example, you could use it to create a title page for something, or you could use it to analyze your writing. Let's say you've written something for English class and you want to make sure you haven't overused words. You could copy and paste your text into Wordle, see which words show the biggest, those are the ones you use the most. So it can give you a good clue if you're overusing certain words. We're going to use it today um, to create like a title page. So what we're going to do is click on create and then it asks for text. If we had something in Word, we could just paste it in here or we can type it in. So I'm going to actually type some words in. I'm going to do the name of the school. And I'm going to do what it is. It's a school. There are teachers here and students. And it's fun. And it's nurturing. And it's educational. Okay, so there's some words. Now, if I want something emphasized, like the name of the school, or if you were doing it as a title with your name, you might want your name more than once. I'm going to copy this word. If you notice, I have a tilde in the middle of it. That's this guy right here. Um, and that keeps the word together. So St. Martin's will always be together. It will show a space on the actual wordle, not the tilde. But that way it keeps the words together, like your first and last name, for example. So I'm going to paste this a couple, one more time. That way St. Martin's will be the biggest words on the wordle. The more a word appears, the bigger it is. If you want them all the same, just type them all once. Then you can click Go. What I recommend before you click Go is that you select all the text, right click and copy it so that if you need to come back and edit it you've got it in your clipboard because Wordle does not remember what you typed so if you're going to want to edit something add to it etc you're going to want to have it in your clipboard then click go you will have to tell it to run the Java off applet so I'm going to tell it to do that and then it's going to create my Wordle now this layout whether the words are horizontal or vertical, the fonts, all of that are customizable. To change those, give you a couple of examples. In here you can um, change the language and I could say I want everything uppercase, everything lowercase. Okay, it could guess the case based on punctuation and stuff. I'm just going to leave them as I spelled them. Um, the font lets me pick fonts. Now you can't see the font until you click it. So if I click this, I'll see that's that one. Um, okay, so let's say I like that font. So I'm going to pick that font. Layout lets me decide if I want it any which way, if I want the edges of it more square or round. I could decide that I want it mostly. Um, horizontal I means some words will be vertical okay then I can pick the colors now there are some preset colors so I could say that color and if I say the exact palette it's going to be those exact colors I see here a little variation will vary it slightly um, some variation is more all the way up to wild variation so it will do wild things to it um, those are the common ones, but you can edit your custom palette. And you could say, well, I want my background to be black or maybe a dark gray. I'm going to go black because that's easiest. Um, then I can say I want my foreground color. Um, those are the colors that are going to be the words. So I'm going to have an orange and I'm going to have a bright yellow and I'm going to have a purplish lavender and then I'm going to have white and then if I say OK it redoes it 
So that gives you an idea of the kinds of things that you can do with this. Now, you cannot save this um, as an image. Save to public gallery does not make an image of it. Don't save it to the public gallery. What you're going to want to do is do a screen capture of it. So, um, I like to um, just do a screen capture and then the easiest way is to paste it into PowerPoint. We're going to show you a couple options. So, remember to do a screen capture. If you want just this window, you press the Alt key and then the print screen key on your keyboard. Doesn't act like it does anything, but it does. Then I can sw switch over to PowerPoint. I'm going to change the layout of my PowerPoint to blank and I'm going to um, change the background color to be black because that's what my background is. So I'm going to make it a solid fill of black. Okay, close that. And then I'm going to paste in my Wordle. Now, um, I'm going to crop this because I don't want all the other stuff around it. I just want the Wordle. So I'm going to crop to just the words, which will be black just like my background. Crop all the edges. Then um, I've got that done. Now I could resize it. The height of your um, slide is typically seven and a half inches. The width is 10. Um, so I'm going to make it almost the width. I'm going to say 9.5. Then I'm going to move this so that it's kind of in the middle. Now I have my Wordle and I can save it. I'm just going to go here, go to Save As, and I'm going to go to Other Formats, and I'm going to save it as an image. Um, I will either save it as, if I scroll down here, a JPEG, okay, give it a name and save it as a JPEG, or I will save it as a PNG. I like PNG because it doesn't lose any quality. Um, so give it a name say my wordle put it in the folder that it needs to belong in and save it just say current slide and you've now got a ping or an image portable um, network graphic of this that you can bring into anything that needs an image now the other way to save it would be to go to something like paint and you're going to edit and paste in there. Okay. Then you're going to crop it in there. So you're going to click that and you're going to um, move it up so you can see the whole thing. You're going to select around it. Okay. You're going to um, edit and copy that edit and um, and then file and new don't change that and then edit and paste and that's all you have so now you have that as an image and you can save it so save as and create an image from that you don't want a bitmap okay you probably want again a ping or you could do a JPEG so uh, wordle in paint give it a name and save it so now I have my images. Now if I go and look at um, look at my documents and go to my folder, I'll see that I have two Wordle images saved. And I can do whatever I want with those. I've got my Wordle here, which is the one I saved in PowerPoint and I've got the Wordle and Paint one that I saved in Paint. So either of those ways lets you save your Wordle as an image. And then you can bring it into PowerPoint, you can bring it into um, Movie Maker, you can um, upload it to your website, whatever it is that you want to do with it.